This is an intro into probability area models. Um, so let's just kind of go over the problem. So a jar contains four red gummy worms and eight yellow gummy worms. Another jar contains three green gumdrops and two yellow gumdrops. A kid picks one candy from each jar. What is the probability of getting both a red gummy worm and a yellow gumdrop? So I'm looking for the probability of a red gummy and so red gum worm and a yellow gum drop. So one uh, strategy of doing this is to create a area model. And so what we're going to do here is we've got two different things that we're doing. So one is the gummy worms. And then the other one here is the gumdrops. Okay. So in terms of the, the uh, gummy worms, there are red gummy worms and there are yellow gummy worms. Now, if you want to be really, um, you know, precise about it, you can actually even make this proportional, but a lot of times people just kind of split it evenly in half, even though these amounts are not even. So I'm going to just kind of split it evenly, just kind of make more of a generic rectangle. So, so what I have is I have gummy worms and I've got four red and I've got eight yellow. So if I were to if this, if our, if someone were to pull out a gummy worm, there is a probability of four out of the total, which is four plus eight, which is twelve. In terms of the yellow gummy worms, there's eight yellow gummy worms they can pick out of a total of twelve. Um, and once again, that goes for both of these: four out of twelve, eight out of twelve. So I'm looking in the red category and the yellow category. Now we're adding into that mix, sorry, adding into that mix, the gumdrops. So in terms of the gumdrops, there are three green gumdrops. So I'm going to put three green and two yellow. So I'm looking here and I have three out of a total of three plus two is five. So here I'm looking for um, yeah, so same thing. Three out of five, and for the yellow, there are two yellows out of a total of five. Once again, we're still in the yellow category, two out of five. So this is our whole kind of diagram. And so there's four twelfths probability, and this is where it gets a little bit confusing, because even though we're using the word and up here, this is not a plus sign. Um, we're taking four twelfths kind of of the three fifths probability. So this is actually going to be multiplication here when you're looking at two events. And what I pull out of this jar, what I pull out of the gummy worms is independent. It's not, it doesn't affect, if I pull out a red gummy worm, it has nothing to do with what's inside of the other jar. So this is independent of each other, these two are. Um, so, and I'm specifically looking for red gummy worm and yellow gumdrop. So let's look at red gummy worm. So here's my red gummy worm and yellow gumdrop. So I'm looking in this box specifically. So here's the probability of a red gummy worm and here's the probability of a ye yellow gumdrop. I can simplify first. So this is just one third and then multiplying across, I get two fifteenths. So this is my probability, two fifteenths. Okay, so I'm going to put another problem up. I'm gonna have you try it. So here's the next problem. So a tank of fish has half guppies and the other half are tetras. One third of each type of fish is silver, one sixth are yellow, and one half are orange. What is the probability of getting a yellow guppy? So we're looking at the probability of a yellow guppy. So what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can create a probability table 
I'm going to kind of pause and stop as I go, but I want to see if you can kind of get it on your own. Okay, so starting to think about this, we've got type of fish, and we've got two types, guppies and tetras. So I'm going to put guppies and tetras. And so there's only two types, so I'm going to just split that in half. In fact, each one is a half possibility this and a half possibility that. Okay, and now let's look at the other part, which is the color. So see if you can figure that one out. Okay, so the, here's the next piece. We have silver fish. Okay, the silver fish are one third, one sixth are yellow, and half are orange. So kind of setting it up this way. And then I'm gonna start putting everything in. So silver, one third of the silver. So this is all one third, one third, one third. Yellow, one sixth, one sixth orange one half one half and then there's one half of them are guppies so going this way one half of each of these is guppies same thing with tetras half are tetras and so you can find anything that you're looking for but we're specifically looking for the yellow and the guppy so this side and that side and then when we do that together one twelfth of the fish are guppies. And once again, if you found all of these fractions up and added them up together, you would get one whole, which is all the fish in the tank. So that's your check as well. Okay, good luck.